Top of the afternoon, everybody. Uh, we got a topic today we want to go ahead and talk about, right? Uh, for those who know King Vaughn, he's a, a rapper out of Chicago, affiliated with a certain uh, certain organization uh, known for that. Uh, you know, alle allegedly, he, allegedly, what the supposedly, you know, they say is that he's he damn near like a gangbang serial killer, right? Like, he didn't smoke more ops than cigarettes, right? So, um, recently some footage came out, uh, the last, just within the last few days, I want to say, uh, where he, uh, you know, basically, what appears like he's rolling it up out the county jail, saying he feared for his life because he's gay and, uh, and, you know, like, basically, like, saying he's gay and, you know, he can't be there type thing or whatever, right? Um, so, and then the cop proceeds to ask him, uh, you know, why, what happened, like, you know, he just said, I, no, I feel for my safety because I'm gay and I want to go to PC up to this other dorm or this other module unit, whatever, because I'm scared of the repercussions or whatever. So, uh, I watched a couple reaction videos about it. Got a little, got a few different points of view. Uh, but my point of view really ain't really changed after I watched the video. What I believe is this is what happened. Uh, he's in one dorm. He want to get to all his homies and go to the next dorm. I don't think he's scared and all that. I don't think that's that because he was, he was making it like a joke at the end. He was making it like it was a ha-ha, like, bye, bye, little Josh, and all that, like, it was a joke. It wasn't even, you know what I'm saying, like, he didn't, so in my my opinion, everybody got their own opinion. In my opinion, he didn't look scared. He was just like, ha-ha, like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, yeah, it was just a, it was just a move to get with his homies. You know what I'm saying? It was a move to go to where he wants to go do him, you know, uh, so yeah, I, I, I don't, honestly, I don't feel like, uh, honestly, I don't feel like he was, you know, I mean, I don't know, I'm not saying I got the evidence, nah, this is just my opinion, I could be wrong, I could be right, you feel me, I could be somewhere in between, but I, I, I just, it doesn't seem that way, now, a lot of people have something to say, like, oh, well, whether you're doing that to get to your homies or not, that's still, you know, PC activity, all this, like, I, I get it, you feel me, I, I get it, I get it, like, maybe some people might look, you know what I mean, because it is, at the end of the day, you are asking the CEO, hey, look, take me up out of the dorm and get me up out of here before I can be where I want to be or whatever, so, uh, that being the case, right, uh, with that being the case, right? Uh, I don't know. The gay part, I, don't, I feel like that's my personal opinion. I don't, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's gay. I, I really doubt that he's gay. I think that was just something he was saying to get with his homies. Now, uh, anybody who's ever been to like jail, prison, or any type of incarceration environment uh, knows that different cities are different, you feel me, like, what, uh, what might be acceptable in Washington State is not going to be acceptable in California, what might be acceptable, acceptable in Illinois is not going to be acceptable in California, so hands down, California has the strictest jail in-house rules, like in-house politics set up by the prisoners, right, hands down, okay, now, uh, as far as other states, they're not strict. They're not, uh, politics don't exist. So, if you're a uh, Hispanic and you, you got a black homie and you want to go to your black homie's room and you're in another state, right? Go ahead. You know, who, who's to stop you? You feel me? That's your boy. Right? You know, other states, there's not a lot of gangs. I mean, there's gangs, but the politics ain't maybe as strong. Now, I know Illinois has its own set of politics because that place is 
pretty bad, man. People are getting marked left and right. You know, uh, the jail is being ran by, you know, one of two organizations, you know, and it's not Bloods and Crips. Uh, so I get it. They have their own politics. But my personal point of view on the whole situation is that he just wants to get to a dorm. Even the guard said it. The guard was like, oh, he just, he, we ain't going to go to PC, bro. He's just trying to get to the dorm with his homies. He's trying to get to the other dorm with his friends or something like that. So it was already stated <clears throat> that, you know, that's what it was. He didn't, he, you know, so that's my take on it. You let me know yours. You feel me? Uh, We're going to make some more econ videos, but uh, it's a little hard when I, you know, moving and grooving. So, um, don't take that to <laughs> I just thought about that. Don't take that to rock. I got an orange short for Rachel. They'll be like, grooving up. That's, no, I'm not a, a, that's not me. But, uh, yeah, just, I don't, uh, this is the phrase I use. So, uh, yeah, moving forward, man. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I hope everybody got the best point of view that they could get out of this video. Maybe it'll open up a, open up another way of thinking about the situation. Uh, let me know if you think, nah, it is what it is, or, you know, like, Oh, it's this or that. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Salute. Recording live from I-5, man.